Hey guys, here are your quick five questions for the physics only bit of your AQA GCSE space physics. I absolutely love this topic so much. If you want to get a copy of the questions so we can fill them in together as you're going along, you pop over to my website and get my free revision guide. Give the order of objects in the solar system. In the middle we have the Sun, then Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. We also have an asteroid belt and a dwarf planet in between Mars and Jupiter. Poor old Pluto, who isn't a planet anymore but just a dwarf planet. Some more dwarf planets and a load of random objects floating around the edge. A galaxy is billions of stars held together um, by gravity. The life cycles of small stars and large stars start off the same. They're going to be a cloud of dust and gas. Then they're going to be a protostar turning into a main sequence star. And then a small star is going to be a red giant. And then it is going to um, fizzle out to be a white dwarf or a black dwarf. A large star is going to be a red supergiant. It's going to undergo supernova. And then it's going to turn it into a black hole or a neutron star. What happens at the centre of the star? We are going to have nuclear fusion. A natural satellite is something like the moon um, that we didn't create. It just goes around by um, itself. An artificial satellite is one that we created. How does an object maintain its orbit? For that to happen, it actually needs to be travelling really fast. How can an object change velocity while um, speed remains constant? That is when it's changing direction or moving in a circle. Redshift is when wavelength gets longer. Blue shift is when that wavelength gets shorter. Um, Redshift can provide evidence for the Big Bang because it shows that stars are moving away from us. 